Good morning, children. I welcome all A standard children to my class. In the previous class, you have studied about the crop production. Under crop production, I will explain you in detail about farmer, what he is supposed to do in uh, do to grow the crop uh, and steps of uh, following how to develop the crop in the field uh, and how to uh, do irrigation, uh, how to which type of uh, manure farmer is supposed to use uh, and uh, which season, which type of crops he is supposed to grow. All these things you have studied. You have little bit of knowledge related to that. Apart from that, uh, this is a different chapter about uh, microorganisms. Have you heard about microorganism children? Maybe in previous classes you have studied about microorganisms. Okay, so which lesson now? This is a continue following the crop production. The next lesson is the microorganism. Micro organisms microorganisms that is they have given friend and foe what do you mean by this this is the lesson given in your a standard book after i am doing the lesson you are supposed to go through each and every word even in the textbook what all they have given now in detail I am going to explain if you go through it you come to know what is what because you are not in the classroom so if you put out in the classroom along with the book we could mention but now I am stating you so what I am explaining immediately you go through the textbook so now let us pass on to microorganism that is friend and foe your friend means you know it is close you, close to you person. A person having a close but by one person. We are calling them as friend. Okay. Four. Four means enmity. Opposite to friend. Enmity. So totally we can say harmful, harmless. Harmful, harmless. Opposite words. But in future you can follow. What are microorganisms? Children, you come across in your day to day life, in your surroundings, in your environment. Living things are not living things. Living things, you know, animals, insects, plants, and human beings. Human beings in your surroundings. All visible things. But these microorganisms are very, very, very tiny living insects. Very, very tiny. It is not visible to your eye. Nima kandi adu kaansu dilla. Niki daike adu roli kaapu dilla. But we are supposed to use a device to see that microorganism. So one thing entirely microorganism always affect to our lifestyle. lifestyle. Microorganism, organisms are uh, so sometimes it is useful, sometimes they are not useful. In your daily life, you come across many diseases. So, see, now you are uh, observing the uh, corona, corona, so how it is affecting to our lifestyle. So, like that, uh, sometimes you are getting cold, sometimes you are getting flu, sometimes you are getting chickenpox, etc., etc., diseases are not getting. How do you get those diseases? So how do you avoid such things at all? So what type of food you have to? So these are all the things you must know basically. Basically. So that they have given under microorganism. So this microorganism also known it as microbes. So this is also known it as what do you call the children? Microbes. Microbes also same. Microbes also same. Microorganisms are microbes. These microbes are seen only by the device microscopic or magnifying glass. What is that term? Magnifying glass. Mag 
magnificent the magnificent glass magnificent very very delicate glass that is through the glass also you can absorb the micro organisms ಬಹಳ ಸಣ್ಣದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಆ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾವು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ಹಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಹಾವ್ ಶೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಯಶೋದ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ micro organisms of very very small living organism it will be seen under the magnifying glass or device of microscope clear children okay this micro organism having a four groups how many groups children four groups that are what are that are this is given in your textbook everything bacteria fungi protozoa and algae what are those groups so four groups are they how many groups children four groups what are those the bacteria have you heard about bacteria children bacteria and protozoa protozoa proto zoa and all the algae and fungi fungi so these are all the four groups of four micro organism apart from this also you have heard about the viruses what is that the viruses this causes many diseases are for in our body so these bacteria protozoa algae fungus all these micro organism ivella kandige kaanisadillada ondu ondu sanna krimi sanna krimi so out of this we are getting many diseases how these are developing in our day to day life that is most important to must know so which are the four groups are there under the micro organism children bacteria protozoa fungi algae fungus fungus these are all the four groups apart from this also we have you heard about viruses this is also small very very small it cannot be seen into our but viruses are developing in our body cell by the help of the host organism what are those how does it develop this develops through the host organisms host organisms what are host organisms varagade inda yavudadu ondu krimi nimge enthraga viruses so cellally develop agutte these viruses are developing in our cell how does it develop all of full host organism enter into our body by the time viruses will develop by the time children you are getting cold flu etc diseases etc diseases that is also causes by the viruses that is why this viruses we have to develop very strongly in our body by the help of antibodies so what is this here antibodies antibodies so when the host organism enter into your cell by the time antibodies protect this host organism the viruses will not develop you are not getting diseases for our children see why where does it viruses develop in your cell how does it develop causes diseases how does it develop that viruses by the host organism this host organism mix with the viruses so viruses will develop causes the diseases but by the time antibodies are very strong in your body 
they were not allowed to host organism work with the myself. Cut it children. Follow it up. So, where is why virus develops so in your cell? So, by which help uh, of this will develop and causes the diseases? Host organisms. Host organisms, when they enter in our body, antibodies can put this one, viruses will not work. Okay, children? So, this is about the groups of groups of microorganisms. Other than that, viruses. So, this is given in your textbook. Too. You go through it. You come to know what is microorganism and uh, which are the groups uh, and what are viruses uh, and also protozoa, one of the groups uh, that is uh, protozoa causes uh, dysentery and malaria. Protozoa causes what are the diseases? So, dysentery and malaria. Dysentery is the baby. Malaria, you know, that is uh, fever type you are getting. Uh, that causes by the protozoa, protozoa and also typhoid and tuberculosis, so bacterial diseases. So typhoid, you are getting typhoid, you should be very careful. So, so which group works there? Bacterial diseases that is. So, so TB, tuberculosis. So all these diseases are getting out of this microorganism. So let us pass on. Where do microorganisms live? So where do microorganisms live? Where does it live? That we should know. In our day to day life, so where these microorganisms live? So that is, microorganisms are single cell bacteria, some are here. So single cell bacteria. Even in our textbook for all these, these are all the microorganisms live in our surroundings. So they have given, they have named them also. So you must know this is a bacteria. See, two so small children. This is a bacteria. So this is a so spirogyra, amoeba, and fungi, and uh, uh, bread mold, and etc. They have given. No problem, no, you go through it all this. Sir. So these are all the single cell development. Single cell development bacteria. So bacteria. So where do microorganisms cell? So, they live all types of environment. So why so, these microorganisms live all types of environment? What are types of environment? Sometimes so we are getting summer season, sometimes we are getting winter season, rainy season. In all the season, microorganisms live along with us. Along with us. This is the type of microorganism live all types of environment. Clear children? So the next study will pass on to so microorganism. And, and us with us, microorganism and us, us means with us. Microorganisms play an important role in our lives. So, some are beneficial, some are harmful, some are beneficial, 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 some are harmful, harmful. Microorganism, some are, some are, some are beneficial, some are harmful. So, which are microorganisms beneficial? Children, every day you are eating curd, idli, dosa, bread, etc. You are eating, no? So, they the microorganism develops so, milk into curd. Understand, even idli, idli, all of a sudden when they are grinding in meat, you cannot eat. 12 hours we are keeping in the house. So then next day you are eating it. By that time, beneficial microorganism develops in your idli and dosa. Even bread, you are going to eat many things. Many, many things in your day to day life. Beneficial out of microorganism. It helps to increase us. 
our energy also. So that is the way microorganisms are beneficial. Even sometimes harmful. How does it harmful children? How does it harmful? See, sometimes the office and every day you are coming to the school. So next Monday or Wednesday or Thursday, suddenly you are great accumulator. I'm not keeping well. I have fever. I have fever. Is it later? So why? Why? Maybe harmful microorganism affecting your body through the food. Through the food, your mommy kept outside food. It may be stale. You have eaten that one. Come to the school. Then immediately you are getting fever. That is harmful microorganism causes diseases. Okay? These, these are the way beneficial as well as harmful out of microorganisms for our children. So that is why you don't eat stale food and without covering food, all these things you should not take at home. And also outside people keeping outside only so much dusty. So such food and all you should not, you have to maintain the cleanliness that you have to preserve under the cold or somewhere else. So you have to close and keep and long time you should not keep outside. Microorganism works with the food, it causes diseases. Always try to eat hard at one or immediately and that day itself we have to complete our food. So these are the ways of there. So, beneficial as well as harmful both. That is why you should be very careful. Okay? So, these are all the things you have to bear in your mind. You read in your lifestyle. So, next, we pass on to text. So, that is uh, different types of microorganisms are there. No? Those who are, those which are microorganisms are uh, beneficial. We call them as friendly microorganisms. So, what do we call beneficial microorganisms? Friendly microorganisms. They are so much friend for us. We call them. So it is very good. We are eating so we enjoy. Enjoying eating with the rice and with other things and all. It is a friend of us. So that is why we call them as friendly microorganisms. So the next one is not only that one, not only that one, even micro organisms of preparation of medicines. Preparation of medicines. So see, if, suppose you are getting uh, fever. So one day you are going, it is not curable. Second day also go to the doctor, it is not curable. Third day you are going, uh, doctor will give not mild medicine, antibiotic they are giving. What type of injection they are giving? Antibiotic they are giving. What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, that is friendly microorganism. They develop in the injection microorganism. They manufacture all of the microorganisms. When the antibiotic they are giving, them, they kill the bacteria in our body. And the antibiotic injection kills the bacteria which are causes the diseases. Isn't it, children? So, like that, the microorganisms are very friendly, very beneficial and also it, uh, it is harmful also. You avoid, try to avoid harmful microorganisms. Take benefit from the microorganisms. Okay children? So microorganisms use us in our day to day life also and also agriculture. Agriculture, you know in the previous class you have studied about farmer work. So the microorganism develops Fertility of the land also, fertility. Palavatana is the one that the is the microorganism because it absorbs nitrogen from the atmosphere. That will be helpful for growing of the plant. In future, I will teach you nitrogen cycle. In future, they have given. Now, this way, it is very friendly microorganism. Without microorganism, uh, we, we don't have a life. We don't have a life. Okay, children. So the next thing they have given in your textbook, making of curd and bread. They have given now. Milk is turned into curd for bacteria. Bacteria name is Lactobacillus. What is that? Curd and the bacteria. Yes, Lactobacillus. 
lacto basically yes basically yes so color of children so which is the bacteria is in the curd lacto basically yes color of children lacto basically yes so this is the bacteria in the curd that is why your milk converted into curd okay another one also they have given now so that is so that is given um so the lacto bacillus so cheese bacteria is also used for the fermentation fermentation you have heard about fermentation children fermentation 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 and the bread irutala the bread is so good irutala makkala and they we are using called yeast yeast so this is also friendly microorganism what is this a friendly microorganism yeast develops a fermentation that is why bread is very very soft this is also one of the type of microorganism without this we cannot prepare the bread previous day they will put yeast they will keep away the next day they prepare the bread so that develops very soft way out of this yeast this is also friendly microorganism so the next uh, we will uh, go for commercial use of microorganism so lot see even commercial use i have you heard about the alcohol 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 i have you heard about the alcohol and wine wine alcohol wine etc they are preparing so these are all prepared by the microorganism they keep long time with the microorganism that getting a sharp taste so they convert it into different way they sell it it is also helpful commercially develops getting so much money also so that is why these microorganisms are friend to us so many ways so many various ways so we are using this one okay this is commercial so the next study will go for medicinal use of microorganism so i told you already antibiotic injections uh, and uh, other than that also medicinated agriculture fertility fertility of the soil even the farmer are using a micro develops through the manure through the manure and chemicals if we use uh, it is not good uh, microorganisms spoils the uh, uh, spoils the uh, fertility of the soil in this way it will be helpful to us in this way these are all helpful to us so next day we will pass on to vaccine you know vaccination in the childhood days so uh, your mommy uh, taking to the doctor and they put the uh, different types of vaccine what is that uh, vaccine vaccine vaccination vaccination what do you mean by vaccination see in uh, i think uh, the ms back to uh, polio was established in india so in the large scale large way so many people attacked by polio uh, chicken pox and small pox etc but now we are not at all getting them. it is vanished in india okay it is removed in india so polio less in india this is now why so you are all taking the vaccination what do you mean by vaccination so vaccination medicine that is also microorganisms so that is in your body so it controls the host organisms so by the time these diseases are not getting so that is why in childhood days itself vaccination we are taking now also we are waiting for the vaccination for corona so we are still it is not developed it may get if we get vaccination the corona bacteria is not enter into our body our body controls the corona viruses so this vaccine kills the kills the aram aram for viruses bacteria in our body by the time we are not getting the 
diseases. That is what they have given in your textbook. The body produces antibodies. When you are taking vaccination, it produces antibodies. What is that? Antibodies. What do you mean by antibodies, children? Antibodies controls. It is like energy. It is energy. It controls outside micro harmful organisms. Outside host, host organism. So that that controls antibodies. This vaccine develops in your body antibodies. Immunity. Another word, what can I say, children? Immunity. Now you are taking no, mommy will give uh, what is that kashaya dal, mommy will give no, you are taking no. So that what is that a jirge, kotamari, pita, everything uh, your mother put and give the liquid, that develops immunity, that develops antibodies. By the time you are not targeting disease, diseases. So every time we cannot drink the, uh, drink the kashaya. Instead of that, you know, so we are getting a vaccination. This vaccination develops antibodies and immunity in our body. It controls the diseases. Follow it, children. Okay. So this is clear. Why do we take vaccination? You must know. Why do we take vaccination? Simply we are not taking injection. Vaccination develops antibodies in our body. By the time, our full organism never enters to our body. You are not at all getting diseases. Because of that, uh, vaccination is very important in time to days. By the time itself you are taking, uh, so till your death, uh, you are not getting anything to your body. Clear your children? Okay, vaccination is clear. So the next thing we are doing, I told you, increasing soil fertility. What is this? Sir? Increasing, increasing. Soil, soil, fertility, fertility. Yeah, I told you, good people are very good. Right? Microorganisms are very important. Why do we require microorganisms? I will tell you, you. See, in your house, your mother cuts vegetable things and waste products. So, that is a wet one, wet one. So many things they are throwing to the soil or they are keeping it in the box. So everything goes. So by the time microorganism will develop, that converted into converted into menu. That we are putting into the soil. So by the time the fertility will be increases. So that is a real work. Instead of menu, menu having a chemicals, but this one doesn't have a chemicals. Microorganism is developed. By the time if you put that thing to the plant, the plant the plant will grow very well. No harm to our body. If, even though if we eat that uh, uh, greenery, it is not uh, harmful to our body. Okay, this microorganism cleaning up the environment also. Cleaning up the environment also. Not only that one, this microorganism develops so that constraints. So, chikdara padate. Chikdara padate. Kasai la bhutirate. Hasi kasai la nuna vakade hataka. Adela click to break up our window and then the only go black at it. So that menu we are taking up and put it in the garden that the plants grows very well. So that is why. So one advantage is cleaning up the environment. Another advantage is soil fertility. Soil fertility also increases out of microorganisms. See, see children, out of microorganisms, so, so many things we are developing is so beneficial to us. Our own is also there. We try to avoid. See, one example I have given vaccination. Vaccination. So we are avoiding. We are avoiding, isn't it, children? So here also, increasing soil fertility. Without microorganisms, we cannot do it all these things. See, people drink wine, alcohol, etc. So many things it is developed. Some are advantage, some are disadvantage. So these are all the um, uh, these are all the process going on by microorganisms. So it is so friendly. It is so friendly. You must know. Did you know all these things are real? Not at all. Not at all. Today you are lucky in your age standard, children. Okay. 
So the next heading, according to your textbook heading only, I am going 